Hey, you clicked on my video. Appreciate it. Now be sure to like the video and subscribe to the page. Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to keep it interesting. Welcome to Out of My League. I'm Nick Diaz. Hopefully this is the last time I have to talk about this kid. But, ah, uh, who are we kidding? In a shocking turn of events to absolutely no one, or to anyone that's been paying attention the last two years, Arch Manning has committed to the University of Texas Longhorns and head coach Steve Sarkeesian. It was evident from the very minute Steve Sarkeesian was hired at Texas that Arch was leaning Texas this whole time because of his relationship with Stark when he was at Alabama. Uh, this entire time I've been saying, I've, everyone's been hearing through the grapevine very strongly, well, he hasn't made up his mind, but if he had to pick today, it would be Texas. Well, sure enough, that's what happened. It pretty much came down to Arch got along with Sarkeesian personally. Sark's undeniable history of developing quarterbacks. I don't care what you think of him as a head coach. It's undeniable what he's done at the, at the quarterback position the last 20 years. And Arch has said the city of Austin reminds him the most of New Orleans, his hometown. And no, NIL had very little to do with it. The Mannings don't need it. He'll get NIL money and a lot of it, make no doubt about it, but everyone was offering Arch the same thing. This was just a classic old school recruiting battle, and Texas won. So, there you go. The recruitment I have cared the least about over the years, but everyone is, seems to be obsessed with, is over. Arch Manning was never going to LSU. Everyone said that back when Arch was a eighth grader, that no Manning will ever set foot on LSU's campus as a student, ever. They just won't. So, LSU fans, if you didn't keep up with this and didn't know up until now, don't beat yourself up about it. There was no point to any of it. So, moving on to more practical things for LSU. Every time a top Louisiana recruit leaves the state of Louisiana and doesn't go to LSU, LSU fans have always hoped for one thing. Please go outside the SEC. So, LSU doesn't have to face that recruit every single year. Well, this is exactly what Arch Manning is doing. He's going outside the SEC for now. Texas, along with Oklahoma, is coming to the SEC in 2025. So assuming they and OU don't buy out their contract to the Big 12 before then and enter the SEC early, they will 100% be in the SEC in 2025. So assuming that's what's going to happen, 2025 will be Arch Manning's junior year at Texas. Now, that doesn't mean LSU will play Texas in 2025, and I honestly doubt that Texas and LSU will be permanent opponents in the new um, uh, SEC scheduling model. I'm 99% sure that they won't be permanent opponents, but they can still play each other. So, LSU, at worst case scenario, assuming Arch Manning is as good as he's made out to be, LSU would probably have to play Arch Manning once in 2025, assuming they play each other in 2025, and assuming Arch Manning is that good, he would leave after his junior season. This is all assuming, of course, that Arch Manning is going to pan out and be as good as everyone thinks he is. Well, maybe not everyone, just everyone outside of the mainstream. Because I can't tell you how many local recruiting experts in the state of Louisiana, even and even around the state of Louisiana high school football, have said publicly, and even some of them privately, because they're afraid of backlash, okay, he's a good quarterback, but he is vastly, vastly overrated. He's not the best player in the country. He's not even the best quarterback in the country for this recruiting cycle. Hell, he's probably not the best quarterback in the state currently. I mean, guys who I respect, like Mike Scarborough, who's had the balls to come out. He writes for TigerBait.com. He's the only one who's had the balls to come out and say that he believes not only is Walker Howard definitely better, which I think a lot of people may believe that, but he also believes Eli Holstein is better. Now, when most people say better, from what I've heard, not just the public comments that I've heard from guys like Mike Scarborough, they say physically he's not as gifted as the others. Eli Holstein and Walker Howard, for example, can be standing in the pocket, have a defender come right at their backside, and then those two can spin on a dime, roll out to the opposite side of the field, throw against their body weight, and hit a wide receiver in double coverage on the sideline and make it look easy, like it's nothing. Arch Manning can't do that. 
Arch is, you know, fast and athletic. Straight line speed is good, but he is not nearly as agile or as fluid as Holstein or Walker Howard. Arch especially does not nearly, and I mean does not even nearly, have the arm strength of Eli Holstein or Walker Howard. It's not even close. Now, arm strength and pure athleticism isn't everything. And also, Arch's stats don't show up, which, by the way, stats are for losers, especially when evaluating quarterbacks. But it is worth noting that his statistics are not very good. He's not even first team all district, first team all state. And he's playing in a horrible, horrible district, one of the worst districts and leagues in the entire state of Louisiana high school football. Eli Holstein and Walker Howard, they play against the best teams in the state at the top level, and they have ridiculous amount of stats. Again, stats aren't for everything, but this is kind of telling. Now, all of this is not entirely my opinion of Arch. I think Arch is a starting quarterback in the SEC. How good he will be? Well, time will tell. I think a lot of the things that recruiting gurus look at, especially nationally, Uh, that make Arch Manning considered the top quarterback to begin with is that he is very, very polished. He has a very quick release. Matter of fact, his release is very, very just fluid and beautiful and natural. Something that most high school quarterbacks at that age don't have, which is to be expected for Arch Manning seeing as who raised him. So that only comes to play so much. Eventually, do you have the stuff to get it done? Which is the only reason why Arch is rated as highly as he is. Because of his last name. I know it's a cliche. I know that's what everyone is saying. But national recruiting guys. National. I'm talking about national. They can be a bit bit lazy on these types of things. Especially if they don't cover high school recruiting in those local areas. My advice to anyone. Listen to the local guys. That's who I trust. Listen to the local guys who cover those areas and those states when you're trying to evaluate a quarterback or really any player. Now, I personally think Arch will be at Texas for four years. I don't think he'll be three and done. He'll start for maybe two of them. But hopefully, I never have to talk about Arch Manning ever again unless LSU plays him, whenever that may be. Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok in the description link below.